Are you exhausted from letting other people's opinions and judgments affect you? Do you feel tossed around emotionally by the winds of criticism? Well, you're not alone. In this video, I'll be sharing seven powerful stoic principles that can help you become unfazed in the face of negativity. By implementing these teachings, you'll gain the skills to live life on your own terms, unaffected by outside noise. Let's dive in. Principle 1. Embrace the unfazed. The ancient Greek philosopher Epictetus said that insults only have power if you grant it to them. You get to choose whether to let words stir up emotions or just let them bounce off. Rumi wisely said, Your task is not to seek for love, but merely to seek and find all the barriers within yourself that you have built against it. Don't build up barriers that insults can penetrate. Be like a fortress with thick emotional armor. Principle 2. Stay true to yourself. As the Stoic Emperor Marcus Aurelius said, chasing everyone's approval will cause you to lose yourself. Chart your course by your inner values. Let critics be like distant waves that crash around you but don't dictate your path. As Rumi urged, let yourself be silently drawn by the stronger pull of what you really love. Follow your authentic compass. If you find this content valuable, we would appreciate it if you could give it a like. This helps us spread the word and reach more people. If you want to see more awesome content, hit subscribe and join our community. Principle 3. Befriend your emotions. Think of feelings like passing clouds, as Seneca advised. Notice them, but don't let them steer you. You're in charge of your emotions, not the other way around. Master them like you would weather at a picnic. Principle 4. The power of indifference. Imagine insults hitting your fortress walls and crumbling into nothing, as Seneca suggested. Not caring is key. Let negativity slide off like a passing rainstorm. You control whether words have power over you. Principle 5. Craft your inner sanctuary. Epictetus wisely encouraged us to protect our minds as we do our homes. Don't let in what will harm your inner peace. Your thoughts are your private haven, so be selective about what you invite in. Imagine someone leaving negativity on your doorstep. Rather than welcoming troubled energy into your mental space, visualize keeping it out. Lock the doors, pull the blinds, and let the unwanted visitor knock without gaining entrance. You have the power to filter what enters into your psyche. Negative words can only take root if you provide fertile soil. When criticism or insult comes your way, see it as just passing by your sturdy fortress. Let it slide right off the impermeable walls. Keep your mind an untouchable sanctuary. Principle 6. Reclaim your power. Epictetus believed that others' judgments represent their limited perspectives, not universal truth. You remain the author of your own story. If someone hands you a puzzle piece in the form of criticism, it's your choice whether to fit it into the composition of your identity. Don't cede your power by allowing their words to define you. You get to decide how their opinions fit within the bigger picture of your self-understanding. They may offer pieces, but only you can assemble the full mosaic. Reclaim authority over your self-narrative by remembering that only you fully know your complete intentions and motivations. An outsider's view provides just a small fragment, not the whole you. Their judgment says more about them than about your essence. Principle 7. Unleash your unfazed attitude. According to Epictetus, strengthening your emotional resilience is key to mastering reactions. Think of it like a volume knob. You control how loudly external negativity resonates within you. The more you amplify someone's provocative words, the more power you grant them. But if you decline to turn up the volume on their opinions, their attempts to upset you become pointless. Cultivate an unfazed attitude by keeping your emotions calm, steady, and on an even keel. Like the eye of a storm, you remain serene while chaos stirs around you. Don't get sucked into the winds of drama or provocation. Be the master of your inner weather. With practice, you can unleash this resilient mentality and not sweat the small stuff. Life's too short to waste energy on the judgments of others. Maintain your inner harmony. Implementing these seven principles leads to mastery over how you respond. What stood out most for you? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you want more wisdom nuggets. Till next time.